Well, hello, my name is Jim Royal. I wanted to thank you very much for watching my video. I'm a huge Beatles and Elvis Presley fan, and if you haven't already, please subscribe below. There'll be many more videos to come. Today, though, I wanted to do something a little different, and I wanted to give you, for what it's worth, my opinion on why I feel the compact disc, the CD, should not die. This is uh, the Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is one of the first CDs that I ever bought. Why do I like CDs so much is the fact that they're compact. The fact that I've got, I can easily store them in their like right here. This is my collection. The fact that one of the selling points for me when they came out in the mid 80s is the fact that they had expanded books compared to vinyl where not only did you get the lyrics in many cases, but you also got detailed liner notes, which I really like. Not only talking about the band, but maybe about the making of the album. I like the fact that it's physical. It's, it's a tangible thing. I can hold it in my hand. That's why I like it. Now recently, I know in the last few years especially, CD sales have plummeted. And I don't want the CD to die. I feel that, you know, there should be freedom of choice. That if you, whatever format you like, whether it's downloading, whether it's streaming, whether you buy vinyl or even cassette, I want to have that option of owning the CD to still have it available. Now, recently, Best Buy and Target have both announced that they will no longer be carrying CDs in their stores. And I've been on this ride before. I know what happens. It's going to be available on the, their website, online for a while, and then pretty soon you won't be able to get them anymore. And that's very sad. Uh, places like Costco and Sam's Club, they used to carry music. They used to carry CDs. They don't carry them anymore. In fact, you can barely find books in some cases. They're shrinking that area too. And I know the, the, the argument is, oh, you know what, these, these kids... These different people, they, they don't buy, they don't collect stuff anymore. They would rather just stream music or download music. Well, these are, this is a pop vinyl of Pac-Man, for example. A lot of people, 20-somethings, 30-somethings, they buy many, many, many of these. And these take up a lot of space. So, I don't really buy that argument. But I would say it's convenience. You know, I would understand that, hey, you know what, I can hold it in my hand right here. It's very convenient. My library is right here. I can take it with me. Good for you. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that until you've really listened to different formats like vinyl. Vinyl has a nice warm sound to it. Okay? And thank God that vinyl came back. Vinyl was dead for 20 years. Because like I was saying, the CDs they took over with the cassettes in the 80s, in the mid-80s. By 1989, vinyl died. And I remember at the time, uh, they were saying, I was reading, uh, record companies were saying, this is the last year that we're going to mass produce uh, albums. We're done. We're done doing the vinyl. They'll still be limited runs. You can still get them, but they'll be harder to come across. And I remember people even talking, you know, they, they threw out their record players. Uh, they put their records out at the curb. I mean, it, it was really sad. Records became more and more worthless. And it's just a shame. It really is. So then cassette, uh, CDs continued doing well. Cassettes, I would say, probably died by about 2000 or pretty much were, were done near that point. The problem with cassette is it wears out physically. Okay. Now, if you don't take care of your CD, if you keep them in the car like some people do, yeah, you know that the sound quality could go down. But someone like Tom Petty, let me give you an example Tom Petty talked about. He was talking about vinyl, uh, but, you know, a physical format. He was saying, you know what, when we created the music that we did, we expected people to listen to it, listen to it on two speakers, you know, not something like this, all right, that's one speaker that, you know, that compresses the sound and, and it's not as good. You know, real speakers and you listen to the vinyl, you have a good system, you spend a little bit of money on it, and you have a nice stereo receiver. You have a nice, uh, in his case, he was talking about vinyl, but you know, you, you have the physical format. He says that's how we wanted it. And he knew about the downloading, and he knew about the streaming, and what happens is, 
is it compresses the music. In many cases, unless if it's maybe a, a special WAV file or something, I don't know as much about it, but I have listened to it, so I can say with my own ears I have heard it. Um, and I just don't favor it as much. But what it does is, you know, you have some of the highs and the lows, okay? But it, it, um, what it does is the substance in between it, you don't hear it as detailed as much as you could if you were to buy the physical format. Like this. You haven't heard Revolver by the Beatles till you've listened to it in headphones on a good system. I mean, it is amazing. It is such a wonderful recording great mixing job. I mean, I absolutely love it. Now, I know that what happened with vinyl, then vinyl disappeared for 20 years. And finally, um, about 10 years ago, close to 10 years ago, I think what saved it is college students. I think uh, they went into their parents' you know, the record collection or went in the attic and they put on these records and they're like, wow, this sounds great. You know, this I have really missed out. So I would encourage you to you know, go grab a CD player, go, go buy, uh, most cars still carry CD players, however, a lot of, uh, you know, now they're announcing that, you know, they're not carrying them in the newer models anymore, but they're still out there, but go buy a CD, pick up one of your favorite artists, and put it in, listen to it, listen to it in the systems, I know car systems are really good, and see for yourself, and, and it's just, it's really, it's really sad, because like I said, I watched vinyl die, and I'm glad it's back. And I, I know, unfortunately, the CD most likely is in that direction, too, if people stop buying them. I know that uh, when I would go to a record store when they were starting to cut down on vinyl, it was a record store, okay? You'd have a little bin area for cutout records. And then pretty much, pretty soon, in the 90s, you'd go into a record store and there would be no more records. And it's like, are you kidding me? This is crazy. <laughs> So I just wanted to do a video on this. Um, you know, the, what, what, what has happened then in, in the 2000s is, which also started killing uh, the CD sales, is you had Napster, you had file sharing programs, okay? And, you know, where in many cases music wasn't being paid for. And, and that's a shame. Uh, and that also did it. And that, that you know, forced... Uh, you know, concerts like Paul McCartney to see Paul McCartney or your other favorite group. I know there's always exceptions, but just paying an absorbent amount to see somebody, see your favorite artist. And that was sad. But that's how they made their money then, because they weren't making it, because people weren't buying CDs like they were. And today especially, that's why they continue to be high. And the streaming, streaming right now is, I believe, the number one uh, way that people listen to their music. Okay? And you don't own it. I know you can say, hey, I've got a playlist. I can, you know, pick and choose within reason of what I want to listen to. Well, you know, just like Netflix, there's going to be artists that come and go. You know, your favorite band will be there one time and then, then it'll be gone. And it's like, what is this? You know, physically owning them, uh, in this case, the CD, because that's what I'm talking about, it's yours. And, you know, when you buy a CD, it, it's like, under most cases, not always, but if it's a good group, you buy it, you listen to it repeatedly because you've invested money into it, you, you learn to appreciate it. You're like, wow, this is really good. I love this. Instead of just skimming whatever the popular hits are of the day. Now, also, you know, there is stuff where if you are not sure about the rest of the album or the CD, you can buy a single. CDs, singles were very popular. Okay, 45s were really popular. So there's many different ways to choose. I just don't want the CD going down the road that vinyl did because vinyl died. And CDs, unfortunately, have, uh, you know, unfortunately, they are dying too, and I feel really bad about it. Now, what have record companies done to try to save them? Well, you know, there's people like Stevie Nicks, for example, or, uh, you know, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, Stevie Nicks from Fleetwood Mac that have said, you know, why make another record? You know, people aren't buying records anymore. They're just listening to songs. And, and they're like more disposable. It's like it doesn't matter as much. And I'm not saying, I'm not judging you and saying, oh, hey, you know, you, you don't care about music. Or I'm not saying what you're doing is wrong. I'm just saying, uh, open up your ears and try different options. If you do vinyl, awesome. You know, all the power to you. I love vinyl too. Uh, but I've been collecting vinyl or I'm sorry, I've been collecting CDs since I was a teenager, and I don't want them to be one day gone. 
Well, what have record companies done to try to save it? Well, you had something like this. That's the way it is from uh, Elvis Presley, soundtrack music predominantly from a movie from 1970, okay? So he came out with this. It's a single disc. That's great. Well, then in 2000, they come out with a three disc uh, special edition, okay? You have some live material on here, you have a rever rehearsal concert, and then you have the album and you have some additional B-sides that were recorded during the sessions. And then they have a legacy edition. So you have the album again, it's remastered again. And then you have a second CD of a particular performance in Vegas. So that's what they're doing, but they also realize that, hey, you know what? you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. And they said what they're going to concentrate right now is on streaming. And they're also going to concentrate on, um, you know, other other ways. But the CD, unfortunately, it's it's just, you know, in vinyl, they said. But vinyl is not what it used to be. I'm glad it's back. So I wanted to thank you very much for watching my video. And you have a nice day. Take care.